What is happening, everybody? Welcome to Red G Fox. Okay, and so today we are talking about Fun Fact Friday. And I had something else in mind. I said, scratch it. I want to get to this. And that is the legendary character actor, Hal Williams. Yes, we know him as Officer Smitty, Officer Smith on Sanford and Son. Several, th the first thing I'll talk about the first time I ever had him on here. So we're going to go through facts you might know. And I guarantee there's got to be something on here you have not heard about from Hal Williams. Great actor and very memorable is in Sanford and Son. He plays his part so well. So let's get right to it. Starting with right now his age. He's still alive. 84 years old, kicking strong. Keep going, Hal. We want you around for the next 10 at least. This is a big shock. We all, you know, if you're here watching this, it's because you're part of Sanford and Son and you're part of the community or hopefully you join the community. But with him, how many episodes do you think he did in Sanford and Son? Now, before I look this up, I would have probably guessed 30, 35, maybe, you know, even if it's a brief appearance. There's 136 episodes. He appeared in 20. That's less, that's less than 10% of the series history. So th that's, that's. Oh, no, that's not. Le that's more than ten percent. It's less than twenty percent of the history. Um, but that's kind of a shock. I would have felt like, you know, he had great moments, right? The wild parsley episode. You know, he's had some of our classic scenes. As you have it both too. He's always the same, which I love. He's always the same, Officer Smitty, the best. I actually enjoy him so much more, and it feels like they have better chemistry when he's with Hoppy, Officer Hoppy, as opposed to Swanee, who, like I said. Comes great. We did a, a fun fact Friday on him, I think two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. And he's he's really good, but a little more stiff and probably more realistic. Hoppy's more like the kind of cop we'd want to hang out with as well as Officer Smitty. So yeah, 20 episodes for him on Sanford and Son History. Another show he was on. Now we're going to cover all the shows or the important ones we might have heard of. Everything he's did. He's done a lot. But I've never seen The Waltons. I'm sorry. I, I just never got around to it. Growing up, seeing other 80s shows or even some of the late 70s shows, comedy-wise, as a kid, I just never got into The Waltons. You can have Little House on the Prairie. Those, But he appeared in that only a handful of times, but he was on that as uh, Harley Foster for seven episodes in that series. That appeared from 73 to 80. Then from 85 to 90, this is what I remember him first as because I didn't see Sanford and Son at that age when I was younger but was Lester Jenkins. I remember him as the dad from 227, the great husband. I think he is an excellent character on there. He's loving, he's loyal, funny, uh, still can be, he plays such good characters of being strong and heartwarming as well, which we'll cover on another movie and show that he did as uh, too. But in that, that's the first taste I ever got of Hal Williams was in 227. And it's funny to see some of the other cast members, what great things they went on to do and big stars from movies as well. That was for 115 episodes. I gotta say, going through his history, I believe that's the most he's ever appeared on in one show, episode-wise, 115. And that was for five seasons. And so, let's get to a brief history about him. From Ohio, and he started out in the community theater in the early 60s. So, we've heard that a lot with a lot of these actors and actresses that we cover from the show when we break them down. They all, a lot of times, started out in local theater, either in, from school, high school, college, or just outside, you know, they, they have their part-time jobs and to, to make a small living while they still do these things, uh, the community theater, something they really want to be in. And in 1968, this is when he started to take off, because remember, Sanford and Son is 72, so it's not much longer after that, but 68, he moved to Hollywood, came out there and had a job at the California Youth Authority, right? That was his job to help take care of his family, why he went on, in, um, not interviews, Auditions. There we go. Why did I couldn't think of the word auditions? So he went out there and tried auditions. Why? As we've seen a lot of celebrities, I don't think it's like that anymore. I don't know. Small time people do, but I would think uh, once you hit it big, you don't do that. But a lot of them, we hear how they they are doing the job, they're doing the grind, lack of sleep, and putting on these auditions. And Hal Williams was no different, putting on the auditions and still working to take care of his family. Now, he is was very good friends with Red Fox. Right, so we know that with Marla Gibbs from 227, that makes sense. But also Esther Roll from Good Times. I did not know that. He was really good friends with her. Uh, I think with uh, Good Times, I want to say he was on three episodes. So only a handful of times did he actually deal with her, work with her on TV. Maybe, I don't know, was Good Times on NBC? No, I want to say that was probably ABC or CBS. 
because a lot of times when you're on the same casting thing in the same studio, you can become friends. But he was really good friends with Esther Roll. Hal Williams. Now this is something that I found. I never heard this story. So this is something. Let me try to get it right. I'm gonna. I you know I just read up on it. But it's all about Jimmy Stewart, the great actor Jimmy Stewart, where a person, another guy named Hal something, he was the producer, and he had said in one book, like he had sent, sent, mentioned something about uh, Jimmy Stewart being racist, and that he had a part that he was supposed to be, they had hired Hal Williams to be a police officer. Isn't that funny? How some guys, they always get these roles and then they continue. But he was supposed to be a police officer, and Jimmy Stewart supposedly told the producer, hey, you know what, I, I don't want, I don't think it's right that I should be taking, uh, um, being lectured by someone like him, and so uh, I want him fired. And so the story was, after that he was fired. Off the show, never appeared. But people have actually done research, they're saying there was no one else to say it. Hal Williams himself said I was not fired, and never had any issues with Jimmy Stewart. Uh, other people have looked into it, and it was all just this one producer who made this story and started getting it out on Jimmy Stewart. So when someone else was digging deeper, they're like, it's it's only his word against everyone else. And he, they started looking in the episodes. There was two, it was supposed to be where he was lecturing, uh, Jimmy Stewart played a professor in the Jimmy Stewart show. And it was supposed to be, he was lecturing him. There was two other times where there was police officers, both uh, lighter skinned people, and they gave uh, t tickets for something else. It wasn't even a lecture. Now, the funny thing is, Hal Williams was not fired and did appear in an episode of The Jimmy Stewart Show. So that right there is to just squash any kind of rumor. I cannot believe that got started, but Hal Williams said no issues. He was a police officer, and he was there on an episode where he was supposed to be uh, doing something where they were trying to produce a case and arrest the great actor uh, Cesar Romero, who played the Joker on the original Batman with Adam West. So that, that was a huge thing for years, and just recently it kind of got torn pulled apart saying there was nothing to it and that it was a terrible rumor so that's something i didn't know interesting i thought i would share that about how williams so i'll cover that so he actually got to work with jimmy stewart there's one movie particularly where he gets some other really big actors he gets to be part of which i love to hear that i love when you're you might be a tv actor you do a few movies but then you get to be put in something where you're like wow that you were with this actor and this actor and this actor so let's get to it he worked as, the, oh, this is a really good thing too for him. I, I, I didn't hear or read anything on it if he had actually had contact with someone who might have had this. But he works as the host of the telethon, the annual telethon for on behalf of the uh, Sickle Cell Anemia Foundation. So that's pretty cool. He does it in, I want to say, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He does it yearly. I don't know if he still does, right? He's 84. That would be cool if he's still out there doing that. But he, he would yearly host the, the telethon out there to try to raise money for the Sickle Cell anemia foundation so really good tip of the cap hats off to you Hal. anytime these people actors any people like that take a stand and go out and do something out of the way they don't have to and try to donate or get charity and stir it up and he's a great great comedian i mean not comedian but he could be funny he could be serious like i said all the things uh i think that would be great that he goes out there and does that now he was a rep this is it this is the movie now he's done several movies one of them i'll get to in a second but this is one i had no clue Right, I've only seen the movie once. I, I got it recommended from another YouTube channel where they said it, and I go, I don't even know that movie exists. I really enjoy the actor Sinbad. If you've seen the movie, you know where I'm going with this. He only did, I think, The President's Kid. Kind of funny. More of a, I've watched it with my younger kids. They enjoyed it. Um, but I like Sinbad. And then Jingle All the Way. That is our Christmas tradition every year. If you have never seen that this Christmas, go watch it. Sinbad is so funny. Him and Arnold play so well. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays so well together. And... He was in this movie called the Cher uh, Cherokee or Cherokee, however you want to pronounce it. But I would say Cher the Cherokee Kid, where Sinbad is. And in that, how Williams plays, what is he in that? Is he a reverend? Yes, he's a reverend. I could see him playing a reverend. But he's a reverend in that. And in the movie, you got Sinbad. We'll get to cover more with him and Sinbad relationship later. And you also have Gregory Hines, amazing talent. Gregory Hines, great actor, great performer, great dancer. Ernie Hudson, the best Ghostbuster of all of them. And one of my favorite characters in the movie The Crow with Brandon Lee, Ernie Hudson, tip of the tip of the cap. And he also got to star with Burt Reynolds. Th that's some great acting. There's other guys too. Another, is it Colburn? There was another great uh, Western actor who was in that movie. But man, top talent. And he got to be in that. So I love hearing things like that where you're like, I had no idea he even did was in this, you know, did that. I knew he did it because I'd seen it. But before the movie existed, I had no clue he was in things like that. Now, let's get to the, the quick list of many things he was in. 
over 90 movie, t mostly TV shows, even some of them one episode. I'm not going to cover, I know he was Night Court, he was in one. I'm not going to cover each thing. We're going to hit up some of them. 90 movies and shows, including The Jeffersons, we talked about. Oh, no, we didn't mention that. He was in The Jeffersons. That's where he first met Marla Gibbs. And then years later, they would go on to star together in 227. I love connections like that. Webster, he was in Webster. Give Me a Break with Mel Carter, another great, I mean, these 80 shows I love. He was in a lot of these. I don't remember, I remember seeing all of them, but I don't remember remembering the one episode he was in. One of them I will, Magnum P.I., he was in that one. Dukes of Hazard. now I remember seeing Dukes of Hazard. I don't remember him in that though. I'm trying to think of what part he played in that it didn't say, but he was in Dukes of Hazard. I can see him being a police officer, right? Maybe he's coming in there and, and busting uh, Roscoe and uh, Boss Hogg for doing something illegal. Maybe he was actual uh, state police officer and coming in with the shades, the reflect. I could see him being a very intimidating police officer in Dukes of Hazard. Now this is cool. He was in the movie. This I did see when I was younger and I remember Private Benjamin where he was the, the drill officer in there with Goldie Hawn and he was also in the TV show. That one, how many episodes was that? The TV show, man, I didn't get that one. But in that the TV show, he was in that one as well. He's a main character. So however many episodes, might have been one season. I don't remember the show. I never really watched the show, but I do remember the movie. And another time where he is firm, strong male character, but loving and has a great heart. And so, yeah, he's in Private Benjamin with Goldie Hawn, another great one. Uh, What's Happening? Now this one, I remember the episode he was in. Season three, because I am a diehard What's Happening fan. I could tell you every episode by heart. Season three, the one where Raj wants to, to get the apartment fixed up and he, Hal Williams is the, the landlord and they give him a big hard time and then all the, they, he throws them out and all the protesters uh, start, uh, or all the tenants make a protest. Great episode, but Hal Williams, very cool looking. He's got the nice brown leather jacket, but he is a jerk in that episode and gives uh, Raj and um, rerun a hard time, throws them out. So what's happening? Police woman. It's funny when I saw that pop up, if you watch our shows, you'll know that recently we talked about when we broke down Sanford and Son, the, the fun fact, fun fact Friday on Sanford and Son, go give it a watch. But in that we talk about all the shows that were on the Friday nights at Sanford and Chico and the man, uh, Rockford Files and Police Woman and I said what the heck is Police Woman I've never seen it and some of our uh, viewers have commented what it was they said it was a pretty good show they enjoyed it so they watched it Hal Williams was in Police Woman go figure right something else I didn't know and he was in the last one I mean like I said over 90 plus so he did a bunch and well deserved but the last one I'm going to talk about is Sinbad where he was in it two seasons for 20 episodes was it 20 yeah, 20 episodes. So he appeared a lot in that. So he did get a handful of shows where he was either a, a regular character or a spot character um, or the main character, right? So Private Benjamin and 227, one of the best. So that is it on Hal Williams. Um, that, that's basically all the, the fun facts we have on him, uh, the trivia we have on him. He's done a lot. I'm so happy that he's still with us. Uh, I wish I could have the pull, a big enough channel to where I can actually get someone like him on this and interview him. That would be so fun. But let me know in the comments if there's any show you might have remembered I missed, if there's any special memory you have with him, if you met him. I know there's photos out there where people have gone to see the Sanford & Son actual truck that has been remade, and it's in LA, and you got Hal Williams and uh, Smitty and Hoppy. They're actually there in their police uniform. Rollo was there, uh, the actors, of course, playing them. But they were there, and you could get a photo with them. So I know that they are uh, still doing fun things. If you have any memory, comment below, and let me know if I missed anything. If not... Like, subscribe, and look for more video, guys. Say see you later, Red. Peace.